Okay, so this is the first in the range of videos for coordinate geometry of the circle, which is an entirely new topic. The first thing we're going to concentrate on is the equation of a circle. Now remember, a circle is a set of points which is equidistant from a center point. So if we have a circle, for example, with a center point on the origin, point zero, zero, and a radius of five, then obviously each point of this on this circle, if I was to get the coordinates of any point on the exterior of this circle, it would be a distance of five units away from the center. The general equation of a circle with center zero, zero is x squared plus y squared equals r squared, where r is the radius of the circle. So in terms of this circle here in the diagram, we are looking at x squared plus y squared equals 25. That's our basic equation of a circle. The next thing we need to look at is what happens when the center of the circle has been moved off the origin. So say, for example, I'm looking at a circle of equation, a sort of center, 3, 2, and radius 4. Here's where our formulas from our log tables on page 19 come into play. So in our log tables, there is a formula x minus h to be squared plus y minus k to be squared is equal to r squared. Remember the squared is outside the bracket. So h k is the center of the circle and r is the radius of the circle. So given the information that I have here in this diagram, we know that 3, 2 is the center of the circle. So that means that h is equal to 3, k is equal to 2, and in this case, r is equal to 4. So all we do is simply fill it into our circle equation here. It's going to be x minus 3 to be squared plus y minus 2 to be squared equals 16, r squared, which is 16. We, um, a quick trick, a trick to remember is when we are transferring the center of a circle into the equation of this format, all we do is change the sign of the coordinate of the center. So if our coordinates of our center are 3, 2, in the formula it will be minus 3 and minus 2 inside the brackets. So what we have to be careful of is where we have a circle with a center in a negative quadrant. So for example, if we look at a circle with center minus two comma minus one, and again, we'll stick with a radius of four. In this circle, again, write down your formula, x minus h to be squared plus y minus k to be squared equals r squared. Our center this time, hk, h is equal to minus two, and k is equal to minus one. So this time, when we're translating that into the equation of the circle, I'm sorry, r is equal to four. When we're translating that into the equation, we are looking at an equation of y x, sorry, x plus two to be squared plus y plus one to be squared equals 16. So that's where we need to be careful, where we have negative centers, our centers that are in the negative quadrants, always make sure you change the sign of the h and k coordinate when it goes into the formula like this. So this is the most basic format of the equation of a circle. And again, the formula can be found on page 19 of the log tables. If you are given the center and the radius, you can translate it directly into this format and you can leave it there. You don't have to work further with it unless asked to do so. Now, for high, this is very much an ordinary level question and this is kind of where the ordinary level finishes up and uh, they are required to only work with equations in this format. For higher level, we are asked to work with another equation called the general equation of a circle. Again, it's a formula from page 19 of the log tables and the general equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to zero. In this equation, the center of the circle is minus g comma minus f, and the radius of the circle is the square root of g squared plus f squared minus c. We don't have to remember either of those. They're stated on page 19 of the log tables for us. Now, generally with um, questions of this type, we will be given the general equation of a circle and asked to find the center and the radius. So as an example, we're going to look at 
our books, page 521, 321, sorry, page 321 of our book, and we're going to look at question 8, part E. So in question 8, we're asked to find the centre and the radius of the circle given in the equation. So the equation given to us is x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 6y minus 4 is equal to 0. So one thing to note, an equation of a circle will always have a single x squared and a single y squared. If we get an equation that's x squared plus 2y squared, it's not a circle. All right, so it has to have a single x squared and a single y squared. If both are, so if we have 2x squared plus 2y squared, you'll have to divide across by 2 before using this information here, but it doesn't really happen. The equations given to us in the exam papers are generally in the format x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. So to find the center and the radius of this circle here, we take the coefficient of x and the coefficient of y. So we know that 2g, according to our general formula, 2g is the coefficient of x, so in this case 2g is equal to 4, so therefore g is equal to 2. In this case 2f is equal to minus 6, so f is equal to minus 3. So therefore the center of the circle Remember, we change the sign, so the center is minus g minus f, so the center of this circle would be minus 2, comma 3. All right, and we'd use that information if we were asked to then draw the, the, draw the circle. To get the radius of the circle, we use our formula here. The radius is equal to the square root of g squared plus f squared minus c. We know that g is 2, so that's 2 squared plus f squared, which is minus 3 to be squared minus c, so c in this case is minus 4, so be careful of our signs there. The minus minus 4 will turn to a plus 4 here. And simply typing this information into our calculator, we would get a radius of root 17. And that's how we use the equation, the general equation of a circle, to find both the centre and the radius of the circle. Don't forget that it would be minus uh, root 17 units, all right, so because it is the length. The other thing we need to look at in this video is determining whether a point is inside, outside, or on a circle. So when we're trying to determine whether a point lies inside, outside, or on a circle, what we do is we look at putting the, inf putting the point into the equation of a circle. Now there's two ways of doing this. So we can either find the distance from the point to the center of the circle. If that distance is greater than the radius, that means it is outside the circle. If it is less than the radius, that means it's inside the circle, and if it's equal to the radius, that means it is on the circle. So that's method one. So you find the distance from the point to the center of the circle, if it's greater than the radius outside, less than the radius inside, equal to the radius on the circle. Another way of looking at it is input the point into the equation of the circle. Remember, the general equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. So when you put the point into this equation, if you get an answer that is greater than 0, that means you're looking at a point which is outside the circle. If you get an answer to this equation which is less than 0, you're looking at a point that is inside the circle, and if it is equal to a zero, you're looking at a point that is on the circle. All right, so if we look at a question, just to see this. So we're going to investigate whether, so the question I'm going to be looking at here now to show you this is question number 10, again on page 321. And we will look at... Part D. All right, so part D. Tells us that we have a point 
which is minus 1 comma 1. And the equation of our circle is x squared plus y squared minus 3x minus 2y minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, in this case, rather than going to extra effort and finding the radius and finding the center of the circle, then finding the distance between them, it's probably going to be easier to, easier to use method 2, where we input the point information into our formula. So we're going to, anywhere we see an x, we're going to replace that with a minus 1. Anywhere we see a y, we're going to replace that with a 1. So if we look at our equation, when we input our point, minus 1 squared plus 1 squared minus 3 times by minus 1, minus 2 times by 1, minus 1. When we type this into our calculator, so we have minus 1 squared plus 1 squared minus 3 times by minus 1, minus 2 times by 1, minus 1, we get 2. 2 is greater than 0. Remember, the right-hand side of our equation is 0. Therefore, the point is outside the circle. So therefore, that's all you have to do. Sorry, one other method that you could use, so method three, if you were, if you had the time, was graphically. So if you were to draw the circle, then you can investigate whether a given point is inside, outside, or on a circle. The only problem with this one here is you have to be extremely accurate. Sometimes they will ask you to draw a circle, but most of the time they're going to ask you to solve questions algebraically like this. So that's our basics of our circle. Have a look at the video and I would like you to complete the questions on pages 319 up to 321 and it is exercise 11. So exercise 11 on page 319 to 321. Thank you.